Hey loves, welcome back. So today's video, we are gonna be seriously trying and testing out some very affordable makeup, some budget friendly, super cheap makeup, literally a whole entire face. Ooh, it's magic. I've been seeing everybody talk about the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation for a really, really long time. This isn't a new product. Um, I think it's a bit of a cult favourite when it comes to budget products. I had no idea that we had Wet n Wild in the UK and I was shopping at the weekend, perusing the makeup aisles, as you do, and lo and behold, I saw a Wet n Wild stand and obviously had to pick this up. This foundation is normally $5.99. $5.99. But, but it still is on offer at the moment, 20% off, so it was £4.79. I am a bit of a self-confessed makeup snob, I'm not going to lie. Like, I really enjoy high-end, more expensive products. I do feel like you get what you pay for most of the time. However, I'm not opposed to finding some really budget-friendly products that work. At the end of the day, if a product works and it delivers, I don't really care what the price is. So then it got me thinking, there must be a whole bunch of brands and products way under five pounds so that's what we're doing today i'm going to do an entire face of makeup from foundation primer brows eyeshadow blush contour bronze the works and nothing nothing is over five pounds couldn't do a full face of makeup without primer and this one sounds really quite good this is by the ordinary this is the high adherence silicon primer it says it's a high adherence blurring surface smoother and prior so basically it's going to be tacky and hopefully let my makeup stick it's going to blur and smooth and make our makeup last longer like hello this was three pound ninety let's try it i love primers patrick how much you get 30 mil i mean for three pound ninety 30 mil is pretty darn impressive cute little package great for travel let's see what it's like is it sealed Yep, don't do that. I'm expecting it to be clear. Let's see if I'm right. No, I'm wrong, it's white. Okay, oh, it's very thick. <gasps> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna apply on my face. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really nice. It's very smooth and it's very blurring on the back of my hand. I'm definitely going to be using that again. Like I said, it feels amazing. On my hand, it's definitely blurred. There's a little bit of a slip to it. It's not sticky. I thought for it being like a high adherence silicon primer, I thought it might be a little bit tacky, but no tack around here. So next up, not technically makeup, but it's a tool, so it kind of counts. This is from The Body Shop. This is their complexion blender. This was five pounds on the dot. I'm going to go and run it under a tap, but it is... Um, a very unusual shape it's got a very precise point on the end with it being dry it's incredibly firm much much firmer much firmer than my beloved beauty blender i'm gonna run both of these under the tap i wonder how big this gets hold that thought it's got a little bit bigger now that it's damp um, and it's definitely not as soft as my my beauty blender definitely more firm very bouncy i'm gonna give it a go i'm gonna give it a go that's what this video is all about right foundation we're going to use the wet mild photo focus foundation i got the shade nude ivory i got this in store and the shades were pretty limited <clears throat> it says goodbye photo flashback helps eliminate white particle reflection tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash there is a lot of foundations and i think sometimes they're the ones that have got like uv protection in them but you've seen it when you have a picture it gives you this white cast this white flashback and makes your makeup and your face look completely ghostly so apparently this doesn't do it it's in a glass bottle which i really appreciate it's got a big dobber there's a very strong scent of it it's not the worst thing i've ever smelled i'm going to put this on the back of my hand my hands are clean rather than apply this on my face okay i'm going to go in with my body shop sponge that's the colour. Oh, it's not bad. Straight off the bat, I don't like the shape of the sp sponge. I don't know if it's because I'm really used to using the shape of my beauty blender. I find this shape very odd, like the way it goes in and out again. 
Like I like how you probably could get right up into there. I think I'm gonna like it for my concealer, but I'm not sure. Um, let's have a look at the foundation, more importantly. The colour's not too bad at all, considering I had about four shades to choose from. So this is without, and this is with. I'd say medium coverage. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. Oh, you know when you just, you're so used to something, like I know I can love and trust the good old beauty blender. I'm gonna go back to the Body Shop sponge when we do concealer. I'm just gonna do the other side of my face. Oh, I just, with the thing you have to be careful i've literally just flipped it all over my my watch okay let's do the other side okay foundation is on color isn't <laughs> perfect it's not that bad and i do feel like when everything else is on it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine slightly dewy finish definitely not matte i'd say medium buildable coverage it looks quite nice for the price, like compared to my normal foundations that I wear, like 30 odd pounds, this was like at full price 5 99 like £4.70 something. That is absolutely insane. So I feel like if you're on a massive budget and you need a new foundation or you're a teen getting into makeup, I do feel like this is gonna be a really great option. Okay, what should we do next? Concealer. So for concealer, I stuck with Wet n Wild with their photo focus, I kind of wanted to do a matchy matchy probably doesn't make a difference this full price is only 3.99 on offer i got i got it for like three pound 19 or something absolutely ridiculous again the shades are a bit limited i just went for the lightest shade online which was fair beige this says it's a concealer corrector cruelty free it says tested under seven light conditions how long has wet and wild been available in the uk if i just absolutely completely missed this Similar smell to the foundation. We're gonna go in. It's got a, quite a small applicator. All right, I'm gonna go in underneath one eye, first of all. I'm gonna give my Body Shop sponge another chance. I love the point on it. Um, God, this is a high coverage concealer. Whoa! I'm not really enjoying the sponge at all I'm, I'm not i'm not i just love how soft and bouncy the beloved beauty blender is i'd say it is kind of medium full coverage you can see the difference so this is without and this is with i don't want to see how it layers it's applying and blending really really nicely this shade is nice and bright the other eye not bad i'm gonna do a little bit of um tiny little bit of contouring in the middle of my face like highlighting hmm. i think this video is going to be a lot of me going huh who knew right we need to set that down before it starts to crease especially if you're my age i've got a setting powder told you this was a full face this one is from the brand collection this is a primed and ready invisible setting power powered by witch hazel it says an ultra smooth setting powder that contains witch hazel to help reduce and minimize blemishes interesting i got this in super drug and it was 3.99 3.99 can't smell witch hazel so this is supposed to be invisible. It's quite smooth. Um, I'm not sure if that's really invisible. I kind of definitely feel like there's some color to it because as I kind of blend it into my fingers, it's not really going anywhere. Great. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll take a nice fluffy brush um, oh, my concealer has creased a tiny little bit. So before I step back in and set my eye, I'm going to just re-dab my concealer. Mm -mm. It's looking a little bit dry. Not my favourite yet. I'm going to take some of my... Whoa, did you see that? Look, some of my very powdery powder. And we're going to just use a slight dusting to set that 
every all the other products I've got are powdery products so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and set my whole face currently looking like Casper the friendly ghost I kind of th keep thinking forgetting like that's 3 99 versus you know 30 35 a big difference let's get some color and shape onto this very matte flat white face of mine we're going to go in first of all with contour and i picked up this collection contour kit this is a highlight and sculpt duo it says define your cheekbones perfect for your nose sculpt your jawline achieve a beautifully sculpted and highlighted contour in minutes using the, co the contour brush and using the diagram shown and there is like the smallest diagram with my eyesight absolutely no chance this was four pounds 19. random pricing this contour powder looks like a really nice shade that looks pretty nice and it's actually quite smooth let's have a look at the highlighter uh the highlighter is a little bit disappointing the highlighter is very subtle i like my highlight to be seen by nasa like i want it to be seen from outer space with my highlight let's keep it budget friendly this is a primark brush i think this was only a few pounds this was the flathead contour brush i'm gonna take my primarni brush oh there's a mirror that is like what what are you gonna see in that mirror all i can see is like my eyebrows or my nostrils i kind of feel like maybe they could take the 19p off the price and just get rid of that mirror because uh like who can use that apart from like flat stanley that is probably the most pointless mirror i've ever seen in my whole entire life let's go in first of all oh there is some color to it definitely some color Ooh. and then we're gonna do the jawline as well and then blend down the neck and i'm gonna take this little contour brush soften that up a little bit so it's not too harsh you can definitely see it look this is without and this is with i'm gonna just contour my massive forehead so basically as always i'm doing that like classic three in an e around my face i'm gonna leave the highlighter for now i'm gonna crack into this elf one the contouring blush and bronzing powder because you need more bronze this was five pounds oh i quite like the packaging i do like it it's very sleek and very simple um there is a much larger mirror the powder shades look pretty much the same hmm. this is my favorite this is from scott barnes and it's basically one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen in my life this is what i would normally apply my bronzer with so i'm gonna go in so we're now gonna warm up the perimeter of the face and the jaw whoa that's pigmented with this beautiful brush so we're adding some color in massively <laughs> considering that on you know that's two pound fifty it's applied and blended really really nicely i don't feel like i maybe needed both of these but we have to try it blush love me some blush Let's see. So with my blush, I like to kind of apply it first of all to the apples of my cheeks and then bl blend it up a little bit. I feel like maybe I've gone a little bit overboard. It's that fluffy powder brush. Just tone that down a little bit. We're gonna go in now, shall we, with the highlight. I'm dusty. Oh no, I can see it. Okay, it applies much better than it swatches. It's quite chalky, definitely not my favourite highlight, but there is some colour there. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, next up, let's do eyebrows. Another Wet Mile product. This was on offer for £2.40, so it's normally £3. And this is the Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. I bought this online. I've not swatched it or seen it. I'm praying that Ash Brown is okay. Quick update concealer is looking a little bit dry the foundation however i'm really impressed with really impressed don't do that oh so that end there's a spoolie that looks exactly like the spoolie from it cosmetics very very similar spoolies it cosmetics is slightly bigger 
but same idea. Oh, can we see that? So it's like flat, but also very triangular. Well, it's very large. I was going to say it's kind of similar to the It Cosmetics one, but the It one is much smaller. This is massive. It's quite big. Kind of feels a little bit waxy. Shade looks okay. To kind of draw on a shape, maybe. It's actually applying all right. Oh, it comes out really easily. Gentle hand. It softens down super easy with the um, spoolie. Yeah, when I was swatching it on the back of my hands, I thought it was going to take a lot more pressure on my eye, eyebrow even, <laughs> on my eye, on my eyebrow for it to kind of come out and come off, but not at all. It blends out when you brush it through with the spoolie really quite well. Let's do the other eyebrow. Because I've got quite thin brows, this is quite a large tip. Um, I think if you've got much thicker, fuller, bushier brows, probably if you're half my age, you might really enjoy this. Really like the colour, really like how it applied. Actually pretty impressed. When I was walking around Superdrug, I was very confused because there was Makeup Revolution, there was like Revolution Pro and I Heart Revolution. I think it's the same brand, but just like, I don't know. I actually have no idea. This is the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Shadow Palette. Um, it says it's majestic. Well, I hope so. And it was five pounds, I believe. Five whole pounds. It is pretty small. I mean, the pan size is tiny, so you aren't getting much product. When you invest in a, a you know, a high-end or a big makeup palette, you are paying for the, the quality and the quantity. So this is very tiny. However, five pounds is also pretty tiny. We've got our classic kind of creams and browns and neutral shades and i just thought that was a really nice wearable selection of colors i'm going to quickly do a relatively easy eye look and see how it goes um yeah Okay, my eyes are pretty much done. I really liked the matte shades. They were super pigmented and they blended really well. I am really struggling with like the metallic -y, shimmery shades. I've applied this pink one with a brush and with my fingertip and it, it's just not there. It's not. It's just not showing up. What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna quickly open the setting spray I've got. We'll talk about it a bit more in a minute. But I am going to dampen down my brush or a clean brush and see if that makes a difference. It's okay. It's definitely not my most favorite palette. It does a job. It's not mind blowing, but it's also just five whole pounds. So, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go for mascara next. This is the e.l.f. Waterproof Length and Volume Mascara. This is four pound 50. Mm, it's got a tiny brush. It's got a very small brush. Four pound 50 is bargain, right? Let's see how it applies. You don't need to sit and watch me apply mascara for 10 minutes. So let me just layer this up um, and see how it looks. I have to say, I am really, really enjoying the, this mascara. It's taking a little bit of work, like I've been applying it for maybe like a minute or so, but it's not clumpy at all. I don't know if you can see the difference. I'm really impressed with that and it's waterproof, like, that's pretty good for £4.50. Let's do the other eye. So far, for me right now, I feel like the foundation is looking really, really great and this mascara is amazing. We've got a couple of things left. We've got a Barry M lip liner. How much was this bad boy? £2.99. £2.99. This is the Barry lip liner in the shade Minx, I believe. Ordered this online. It's like super glued on. Oof. 
Okay, let's swatch, have a swatch of rue. Well, that's nice. It's a little bit darker than what I'd probably go for a lip liner, but you know, let's give it a go. It's applying okay though. It's definitely not as soft and, and as, as forgiving as like some of my high-end favorites. I mean, it's doing a job, isn't it? Lip product wise, I went for the collection Velvet Kiss Moisturizing Lip Cream. I thought that sounded amazing. And I went for the shade purely because of what it was called, not even because of the color. It's called Drama Llama. <laughs> Drama Llama. Like, I was like, yep, yeah, add to cart, Drama Llama. This says it's a moisturizing lip cream with a soft, velvety matte finish. That sounds amazing. This was £2.50 on offer, normally £2.99. Let's open it up. Oh my God, it smells insane. It's. It smells like chocolate caramel. Oh, it smells so good. I am a chocoholic. Oh, it is quite nice though. It didn't come out of the tubes smoothly at all. Oh, oh mixed emotions, mixed emotions. I think the color is beautiful. Really, really pretty. Oh, it applies a little bit. Oh God, I've got like a big blobby bit on the end. I'm not a fan of the application but I really, really, actually really love the colour. It feels really, really comfortable. Look at the colour of it. Like, that's a beautiful nude, isn't it? Drama Llama. Again, it's a little bit clumpy. It's not very smooth when you apply it, but if you put it on and kind of take a moment and move it around a little bit, I've already sneaked a peek with this. This is the Revolution Matte Fix Oil Control Setting Spray, 100 ml. This was five pounds. Let's give it a go. Let's see. It's got a really nice, fine mister, actually. And the mister is a little bit blobby. Slightly perfumed. It's kind of taking that powdery edge off of my makeup, for sure. Let's let it dry down. Extra. Right. There we go. There's a full face of makeup with nothing over five pounds, but technically the foundation is over five pounds normally, but it's not right now, so I'm still nothing over five pounds. Hands down, my two favourite things if you made me pick would definitely be the foundation and the mascara. Loved this mascara. Loved, loved, loved it. I think this is a really, really great option if you want to go for those more no makeup makeup looks, a little bit softer, a little bit more natural. It's not clumpy, it's incredibly smooth. I really, really like that. Really, really liked it. It's not mascara I'd use on a night out for like wow, 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 wow. But day to day really nice really really nice if i had to choose between these two i think i'd go to the elf option nice mirror nice pan size good for travel really good color payoff blended beautifully like that's a really nice budget friendly option the barry m lip liner i mean i i think i should have gone Ooh, it's magic it's nice it's quite stiff it applied okay shades a touch too dark I'd be interested to see if they'd lighter shades, but it does a job, it does a job. Lip product, love the color. It has dried down a little bit more. I did feel like I needed to apply a lot to get a smooth, even coverage. You often get what you pay for, but every now and then you're gonna find a little gem. You're gonna find a little gem, like, you know, the Revlon Candid Concealer. I think this is like six or 7.99. I've done a video on this, if you're not seeing it, I'll drop it in the description, but this is an incredible, drugstore concealer but for me this foundation uh, i just think this is i was just this I think this is amazing anyway thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell it means the world to me and that way you won't miss any of my upcoming videos there's loads planned that's it for today thank you so so much for watching i really really appreciate your time i hope you have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you really soon. Take care.